right now in the world, we're in the midst of a lot of people being out as harassers in the entertainment business. Is that prevalent in the boxing business? Um, I don't... Yes. Yes and no. I've never had the opportunity, and thank God, of someone trying to like sexually do something to me that was like inappropriate that I felt like, or or, or me trying to get somewhere and them using that as like a, a reason for me to get there. But I think that as a woman, being a, a woman fighter, I think that men tend to kind of look at you as an object, especially when it comes to like um, trainer and trainee. Um, I think that because I know a lot of people or. Or, or ladies who have probably had to like either switch trainers or like go different directions because the person who they're working with is like trying to have sex with them versus like teach them how to fight and that's what they want to do or you can't learn nothing because the person's not taking you seriously because they think that you're a woman and obviously they feel like the only thing you're good for is sex or whatever it is um, that they feel that um, the only thing that you can do besides fight but that's not what we come here for we come here to fight so I don't understand why they want to try to like offer you penis instead of offering you you know what I'm saying the ability to learn the skill of fighting how common is that guy, guy trainers offering their female boxers penis um, it's very very often um, I mean I've known some cases like personally so I'm definitely um, like against it and I'm definitely like just disgusted by it because you know it's bad enough that we have to fight for everything else but why do we have to why can't we like come into somebody and know that and you know know that we're in somebody's hands and and be secure and be you know able to just have a peace of mind of not you know that person like trying to like sexually be with you or have sex with you you know it's already bad enough that we're women in a male dominated sport so you kind of get mixed up in a lot of bullshit first of all you know so but to have like your trainer try to like do things with you sexually it's just I just think like it's it's just disgusting what are some of the other trials and tribulations that women face in boxing um I think we face just not being taken seriously. I think that we face not being taken the opportunities because I've seen a lot of guys who um, don't deserve and haven't deserved and still receive, you know, and, you know, just like, you know, still even at this point, the simple fact that they only have like one girl fight on a bout, it just makes no sense. You know, I'm just like, well, why? There's no, like, there's no reason in why. Like, why don't they want to put the money behind the girls? Why don't they want to give them the opportunity? You know, I've been to fights where fights starts at 5 o'clock the, the main event don't start until 9 o'clock. There's about like three hours or two hours of like nothing going on. I'm like, right there you can plug in like two or three girls and to give, you know, like a good show or when they place the girls, they place them so far in the beginning where nobody is there. So how are people supposed to see them? You know, like all of that is just like not fair to, to women in general. And you know, like we want to fight, we want to give our all. We already have so many other things to do being a woman, like take care of home and you know, like work and things like that because we don't have the luxury of having people taking care of us so you know we have to deal with all of that just in general you know and still keep a positive mind and still like push forward and still like not give up you know and all sorts so you know do you think female boxing is on an upswing now I do I, I think that is it's definitely um, getting there it's still it, it's still on a crawl even though what was good is that the girls that are coming from the Olympics I think are getting better opportunities and the girls that, that, that's that been here um, longer or turned pro before the women were even in the Olympics and I, I you know and I'm happy about that you know so if, if that's the step that needs to be taken to you know maybe eventually get girls fighting more then I'm all up for it but I wish that they would give the opportunity to all the other girls who've been working hard and struggling and thinking that just give them a chance